Plaintiff Letitia Lambert knew the defendant as a child, but because she and her family moved around a lot and eventually became homeless, they lost touch. Letitia claims they reconnected recently, and she's suing her for the cost of two cars, property, and car insurance. Defendant Danica Collins says Letitia drinks excessively, and she once tried to drink six bottles of vodka, then offered sexual favors to a stranger, and he rejected her. Danica insists the plaintiff is suing for more than her car's worth. All right, tell me what happened. I knew Danica growing up in the neighborhood. We grew up in the same neighborhood, and we have the same mutual friends. But unfortunately, at the age of 11, I had to move out of the neighborhood so I didn't get to know her all that well. Me and my family became, we got into some financial difficulties to where I became homeless and we started to move around until we had to live in a shelter. So I didn't get to know her all that well till probably about 2008, like we got a little bit closer. So um, me and Danica have been, I guess you could say friends and not acquaintance after that. Um, I've been through a lot in my life. Like, I've had a lot of financial struggles. Um, I've had my brother killed in 2006. Sorry to hear that. Um, thank you. Um, by a white police officer in Broward County. He was intentionally sideswiped by the officer because of the issues the officer had with the passenger, who was also the owner of the car. So he sideswiped the car, and the car ended up running into a pole, be becoming wrapped into the pole. And my brother died instantly. So at that time is when I was still going through my homelessness and everything. And that was one of the toughest struggles I had to endure. I've had to take care of myself since the age of 13. I attended high school. I got a job at McDonald's. I attended college school all at the same time while being pregnant. I didn't finish high school, but right after having my son, I went back to school, got my GED, and I, a few months after that, when I came back to New York, I took my permit and my drive, and then shortly after that, I got my driver's license, and I went out and got a car. What about your cosmetology license? Unfortunately, I didn't finish that because I was going to the two schools at one time, and I was working, and, as, and I was six months pregnant, so it was a lot but I've been working, I have two children, so right now I'm going back to school to um, do business, business management and then become a lawyer because of the whole issue with um, the bro my brother being killed in Florida. And at first the officer was being investigated for violating policies, but because we didn't have the financial means to hire a lawyer, the case, he was cleared of all charges. There was no trial. There wasn't anything besides a short inv investigation to where they said he caused his own death. But I don't really believe that because of everything with the officer and the, um, the owner of the car. How long ago was that, you say? 2006. Mm -hmm. So right now, I'm, I'm going to school to become a lawyer so I can, in the future, where help people. Where are you people. at in, in that endeavor? I'm starting. First year at the university? No, I'm starting school next month. I have a 10-month okay. old right now. So I stopped working to take care of her, and now I'm starting school next month in okay. New York. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You want to give me some background on yourself or your friendship? Okay. Well, me and Letitia, well, I call her Monkai. <laughs> That's what I know her <laughs> as. We grew up together. I wouldn't say we stopped talking at 11 because she lived around the neighborhood for quite some time. So, you know, she was dating my brother. We got close, I would say, because we have mutual friends. So we were close when we were little because she would always be on my block at my house or across the street from my house with our mutual friends. She, Letitia did have a lot of struggles. You know, I'm sorry for that, but she's not perfect. We're all not perfect. You know, when she has liquor in her system, you know, she acts out. You know, when she doesn't get her way, she gets pissed off just like an incident. She did herself to drink six bottles of Grey Goose after the fourth I bottle. Not true, six, Your Honor. Six I don't even drink Grey, Grey Goose. Six <laughs> bottles of Grey Goose after the fourth one. She asked a stranger to give oral sex, and you know he denied her. How many ounces? It's a large. Yes, Your Honor, that she is not herself. true. A fifth? <laughs> yes. 
I don't believe that. She <laughs> died of alcohol poisoning. That is. She that passed is not out after. Run. I don't even know. I said bottle. die. I didn't say pass out. Oh. The person drinks by themselves. Yes. Four fifths. <laughs> I don't even of drink white alcohol. Grey Goose, back to back, they will die. <laughs> Well, she drank a lot, sir, and passed out. You drink excessively? I don't drink white alcohol, first of all, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. That's not my choice. Grey Goose was never do you a choice. drink of excessively? No, I do not. Let's get to the cars and property you're suing about. Okay, um, first off, I'm suing for my, the first car I'm suing her for is my 91 Nissan Maxima. Mm -hmm. um, September 28, 2009, I, I was giving Danica and a friend a ride. She was going back to school. I was, I was going to take her to the bus station, mm -hmm. but I stopped at my house for a quick second. Um, I brought my son inside, and I left Danica and her friend in the car. I came back outside probably like 15 minutes later, and my car was gone. No Danica, no friend, no car. So I started calling Danica with no answer. So I started sending her text messages, and she still didn't respond to the text messages. So I called again. A lady answered the phone and tells me that they were in a car accident and her and the friend was being cut out the car. Mm. So at that moment, I'm not, I'm, I'm not mad anymore. I'm more worried. So I run straight to the hospital where they told me that they took her and a friend to. Danica wasn't really injured bad in the accident, but the friend was more, she was more hurt. Mm -hmm. Thank God they were okay, but my car wasn't. It was totaled. Mm -hmm. um, after that, I, I, I called the insurance company. I reported it to them. Mm -hmm. um, they told me they told me that they had they to grant invest your claim. Huh? Did they grant your claim? No, they told me they All had right. to investigate it. And did you ask her for your money? I did. We spoke about what it. What did but, she say? Um, she said she was gonna. She said she was gonna give me money. Okay. We had Facebook messages. Okay. What about the second car? The second car was um, a '92 Honda Civic that after a year of asking Danica, after a year of um, giving Danica time to pay me, I asked her if she was gonna pay me, and she started telling me about how she, she just- For a Civic? Um, for, for my first car, because if she All would right. pay me for my first car, I would've bought my, my second car that I needed. I just had my son, so. I'm confused. Okay. You want her to pay for the car she damaged? Yes, and the car and that then, I had to purchase because oh, okay. of everything yeah, that no, happened. Yeah, I'm not gonna allow that. Okay. Well, but that's what that you was. You get a money for the one that she damaged. Okay. Not for the one she damaged and the new car you got. And that's not how that works. Okay. All right. And what property does she owe you for? Um, the car radio. When I went to the tow truck company mm -hmm. to um, retrieve my belongings out the car, I found out that my car radio was taken okay. out. Why wouldn't that be part of the car itself that you're suing for? Um, I, I, I guess Most because it was come with a radio. No, I put this radio in the car. Okay. So, and? um, someone told, someone, um, told the, the tow truck person that they were Danica's boyfriend. All right, but the radio is part of the car. If these young people go and buy these $10,000 speakers, they don't think that they can go to the insurance company and say, I towed up my car and my speakers were worth 10000 and my rims were twenty, and the car is worth ten. Can I have fifty grand from you? <laughs> You think they're going to give them that 50? They're going to give them 10 and tell them to keep it moving. <laughs> Go ahead. Ma'am, you tell me um, about the car. Did you total it? And why don't you think you should pay? Okay. I can agree. I did total the car, but the car was not worth $3,000. The car was worth, in my offense, $342. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who has the value? I have, I have Kelly's value book. book value. Oh, good. Let's see what you have, and then we'll look at yours. How many miles did the car have on it? I, I I think it was 126, 126 okay. and what do you some have? thousand. Okay, I have Kelly's blue book as well. It didn't go back as far but, as the 91 maximum. Yeah, that's what I was just about 93, to... and in good condition, it's $942. In fair condition, it's $342. And as far as the radio goes... Maybe I'm missing something I because I have two different estimates. What are the differences? And, and that's oh, you, you think that it was 200,000 miles. Correct. Do you have any evidence no, of that? No, I do not. All right. So I'm not going to just take your word. What is the insurance for? Um, I paid, my insurance was paid on um, September 26th. Uh -huh. 
September 26th, and um, Danica You crashed. can't give your insurance payments back. That's what people do. They pay insurance on the cars that they have. You're getting the compensation for what she totaled. That's all you're entitled to. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of 1627 Have a good day. I mean, it is what it is. We don't have to continue to speak. I'm fine with that. It doesn't matter. I'm saying if you do something wrong, then you should be liable for what you do wrong. I never gave her my car, so she should pay me. It's been five years. You could have gave me something. Regardless of what, you took it without asking and you crashed it or someone hit you. If you weren't in my car at the time, then you wouldn't have to pay me anything.